In the last episode, we chased the Milky Way on the Oregon coast, and it would have been nice to stick around, but the weather was not looking good, so we decided to cut out east and start our next adventure. All right, let's go. learning from Gavin. This is uh, Gavin and Nick Page style, right? Yep. Is this the Nick Page style? No. That we're doing? This is definitely not the Nick Page What's style. the Nick Page style? What is oh, I should use a cell phone then, Ooh, okay. Look at that healthy glow. Look at that. <clears throat> I'm both vlogging and checking my apps. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think of my what's calendar? <laughs> Let's go see what's the date. All right, change of locations. We have popped off the coast and now we are at Sparks Lake near Bend, Oregon. And Gavin and I have met up with two friends. We got Andrew Studer. Hey guys. And Nick Page. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've been uh, just kind of hanging out. Hey oh. Andrew, where's your camera exactly? <sighs> I don't know. If it was a Sony, I probably drowned it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of down on the shoreline, and so I was trying to get where the rocks are going out in the water. So I did like a couple of focus stacked shots with a long exposure, like two and a half, three minutes mm. for those. And now I'm doing a star trail above, above the volcanoes that we have in the background because we're in Oregon. So after a bit of time catching up with Nick and Andrew, I decided to start a time lapse. And what I wanted to do here was create a star trail time lapse. So I'm using the Nikon D850 right now with the 14 to 24 at 14 because I wanna see as much of that circular trail as possible. So my settings for the shot, I'm gonna do 20 second exposures at f2.8 because that's my lowest aperture. And then ISO 6400 because what I found is for my specific camera, the Nikon D850, any further than 6400 is just unusable but 6400 is about the limit it's a little noisy but with some noise reduction and some stacking of the star trails this is going to look nice and clean so i've composed my frame here to have one third of the water and about two thirds sky and i've got the star trails moving right smack dab in the middle of the frame around these two mountains south sister on the left beautiful mountain and then broken top on the right now, I am planning to run this for about an hour and a half, but we'll see how I feel. I might run this for two or even three hours, um, depending on what happens. So, should be good. So here is my final star trail image from that time lapse. I ended up running that time lapse for about four hours, so I had a ton of images to work with here. I'm using the light and blend mode to blend all of those stars together and create those beautiful trails. If you want to learn how to create star trail images like this one, go ahead, click the link in my description to sign up for my newsletter because Gavin and I are going to be releasing a night sky photography course that's going to include hours of in-field content and post-processing. So go ahead and check that out to be notified when it is released. All right, back to the video. How's, uh, how's your stuff coming? Yeah, it's absolutely... Oh, <laughs> no, it's brilliant. Totally brilliant, mate. Yeah, I'm getting you... get epic shots oh. all the way. Yeah. Are you, are you sure? Because it kind of sounded like you were about to say you didn't like what you were doing. No, no, I mean, I only ever take brilliant shots. Uh, uh -oh. How's that even uh -oh. possible? 
You sh you sh you're all good then? Yeah, you're, I mean, you're having a good time. If you could just put the galactic core right there, that would help, but I don't think you can do that, can you, right now? You've got Photoshop. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Job done. All right, so after a pretty awesome night of shooting the stars at Sparks Lake, we have decided to move our position, me and Gavin, to Smith Rock here in Oregon. And it was super clear last night, but it has changed quite a bit. And now we have some really incredible storm clouds moving over. This thundercloud, thundercloud, thundercloud? Thundercloud. Thundercloud. Thundercloud has been just sitting here billowing for about an hour and it keeps getting more and more impressive. And so I've decided to just set up a time lapse here. I'm running about 500 shots at a two second interval. I'm probably gonna run the shot for about 20 minutes just so we can see all that movement. I know. It's like something out of a movie. It, it's like something out of a, an old Western movie that I used to watch when I was a kid. Where they're faking clouds. Like they were painted, at, you know, they used to have matte backgrounds yeah. and they were hand painted by an artist. That's what that looks like. It does, it doesn't look even remotely real. to time lapsing those storm clouds, I actually decided to shoot this photograph. So I'm shooting this with the 16 to 35 lens, and I decided to shoot this as a vertical image to show a little bit more of the sky with those beautiful clouds up above the mountain peaks and show that nice leading line of the river kind of looping through the scene. I love that just a little bit of light on top of the ridge, giving that nice warm glow I did a little bit of dodging and burning just so that river would really stick out um, amongst the kind of darker shadowy landscape scene. I do wish the storm cloud was a little bit further to the left, but I am happy with the way this image came out. A spooky story. One day a boy drove out to the middle of nowhere to, to, to take the perfect photo and this, everything came together. The composition was gorgeous, the mountain was epic, there was low fog, epic sunlight, and beautiful pink clouds throughout the sky. The boy sets up and leans in to take a picture, but he forgot the SD card at home. <gasps> there was no SD card to be found. He just had to sit there and enjoy the moment without taking a single picture. <gasps> <laughs> Not even a phone picture. Surely there was a phone picture. Oh, oh hello. Does it, is this flattering, this light? Uh, no. Oh. Well, keep it on then. That's good, thanks. <laughs> so you could light me and I'll light you. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Look at that. That's innovation. Lighting me, lighting you, aha. Uh -huh. There is nothing we can do. Hey, pull my finger. <laughs>